Hi guys, so today I have some new uh, vellum papers that are there on Tonic Studios site. They did send these items free of charge for my use. And of course all opinions are my own and any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. And the reason I say it's for my use is just because I just have them here to try them out and things as, you know, videos go by. But um, I wanted to show them to you guys because uh, we love vellum, so I just want to check it out. So this is the pearled silver. What I'm going to do is maybe I'll take one sheet out of each of them. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And then we'll talk about it. I'll be right back. Actually covering it up that way makes the camera a little better there. Um, so just pulling that out, I can feel this one's a little lighter. I don't know if you can see how it's just like so, I don't know, gossamer, just beautiful feeling. And so I checked that out. It's 100 GSM. Okay, so GSM, even the 100 pound paper or like whatever as you might uh, think of, you know, 65 pound, 85 pound paper. They're talking about the weight of the paper per so many, you know, that's how they figure that number out. So 100 GSM in this is still uh, pretty thin because if you're thinking, um, you know, 100 um, cardstock, it just, it's different because they're different materials, right? So I just want to show you that, but look at that beautiful pearlescent look to it. So again, this is pearled silver and maybe if I have something that's white, you can see the difference. Um, so this is white paper. And I know it's hard to tell, but can you see it's a little grayer? Super gorgeous. Again, uh, very lightweight, very gossamer feel. This one is the uh, pearled gold. And again, there's that sheen. So that's what I'm trying to catch on here. I'm being very careful with it because I don't want to kink the paper or do anything. Uh, again, pearl gold. This is also 100 GSM. And there are 10 sheets in both of the packs I just showed you. Acid-free and printer-friendly, it says. Oh, which is even better. So look at that. Beautiful. You can see that very clearly where the other, I just wanted to show you what that gold looked like, or the silver, sorry. This is the uh, 100 GSM pure white, and it's very matte, where the other ones you can see that shimmer on it, you know, uh, very matte. You can see my hand there. Again, um, typical vellum, I would say. Uh, again, a little bit lighter in weight. And then this guy, when I touched it, I was like, okay, <laughs> this is this is some heavy duty stuff. This guy's 150 GSM, so if you're used to like that thick black matte paper where it's just like really sturdy to 300, uh, this is about half that weight, but it feels like, I mean, look, I don't know if you can tell, it's hard to <laughs> show you, but like it just holds up, right? So again, it's just a different material, the weights are different as far as what it feels like, in my opinion. Um, and this is vintage white, so it's a little bit... Probably a little bit off-white or something compared to this. I don't know if you can even tell the difference <laughs> in those colors. Um, but thicker paper. So all I'm going to do today is just uh, maybe die cut some and try it out in different ways. And uh, just, you know, have a, have a go at it and see what we, we can come up with. Okay, I'll be right back. So this is the very thick paper. I'm going to take the little designer's choice that recently came out. And I'm going to try this out. If there are bundles or any kind of deals or anything like that, I'll have everything linked separately, but I'll have that in the description box also. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to take this guy, and this is the very thickest one. And why don't we cut some of the gold one just to layer it up and see, you know, what we get there. So I'll take that one and layer it up with this guy. So all I'm going to do is run it through, um, you know, our die cutting machine, whichever machine you have, uh, will be great. And then maybe we'll emboss this one just to get some texture and see what that looks like too. So again, this is the heaviest weight one, and then this is that um, pearled gold one. Okay. I'll be right back. So I run both these through with um, just a, you know, die cutting machine, old plates, and they're all scratched up from, you know, having been run through so many times. And nothing happened to this, so it looks perfectly beautiful. And that's the background one. And then let's see this guy. I'm going to have to clean it out a little bit. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. So what I'm going to do is take a moment and just clean out all these little bits. And I'll be right back, you guys. So we have this here. Looks super gorgeous. Um, so whenever you're working with vellum, of course you want to be careful with your glue. I probably will layer up, you know, the next layer of this on here. And now I'm thinking maybe some black paper or something like that. That'll really just make that pop. Oh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll layer up this and this through some black paper. And we'll have that showing a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is be strategic about where I place my glue. I've had really good luck with Nuo Deluxe Adhesive and Vellum. So again, I'm pretty much going to cover up quite a bit of this. So I'm just going to go right inside that line. And I'm putting like the smallest amount of glue. I don't know if you can tell. And then I'll put some on the back of my hand kind of grab some of this little bits that are out here 
And again, it's just a little bit, <laughs> just a little something that's going to hold on. So whenever you're using vellum and you know, okay, I'm going to place this here or that there, that's generally where you want to put your glue so it's covered up a little bit, right? Um, just in case it pokes through at all. So I'm going to put that on there. And, you know, I wasn't really planning on making a card. I just wanted to try this out for you guys. But I'll go ahead and run through the die like I just showed you these two through some black paper. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I just brought a card base. So we add that there. We have this little guy. Oh my gosh. So gorgeous. And then this one. Again, from the back side, you know, where I put the glue, you can kind of see that. But not so much from the front. And I bet when it dries more, it'll be even more... Um, less apparent. But that's why I really love Nuo Deluxe Adhesive, honestly, with vellum. Uh, it's been working really well. So this little guy can go right there. And like I said, I wasn't really planning on finishing up a card, so maybe I'll do that. But I just wanted to show you uh, the vellum, uh, talk about the weights, uh, about the different use. uses, and how I would use it. Uh, I misspoke there. And um, yeah, just you know, go from there. So I'm gonna, probably going to glue this down. Again, when I glue this down to my paper, I will glue it in a way that if I know I'm going to pop a little maybe something afterwards, maybe I'm going to put something here and so I can add a little more glue, but really honestly I'm just going to put it in the center piece to hold it on. It'll be just fine in this area. And then I think I'm going to pop this little guy on with dimensional adhesives. But of course you can glue it right down. And, you know, I'll add a little sentiment or something. Maybe I'll continue working with some of the dyes there. But, again, just want to give you some ideas of how you can use that. And it just adds a little something in the background. I think it would be really lovely as a pocket. You know, we have pocket dyes that have the outer piece and then maybe, like, the inlay. I would do the outer piece in the vellum and then do the inlay layer and, you know, glue those together. And then you have this beautiful pocket that's a little gossamer and just gives it a light, sweet look. I think that would be really fun. But um, flowers, I mean, there's lots of ways to do all that stuff. I did mention I was going to emboss this, didn't I? I didn't do that. So you know what I'm going to do? I'll emboss a piece for you guys real quick. I'll go ahead and cut it out again same way. And I'll be right back. So I just cut that same piece again from the thicker vellum, the 150-pound one. Let me take that off. And I'm just going to run this through an embossing folder and... Again, whatever machine you're using, whatever sandwich you need for that to happen, and I'll be right back. This is just a simple uh, embossing folder. Oh my gosh, look at that. And that's what I love about vellum with the embossing, because it just gives that, um, it kind of, as it's pushing through the paper, it basically dents it in a way that makes that white appearance. So even if you're using like a different color, or like the gold one, it's going to have like a little white shadowing, you know, that makes it look even more amazing. So, yeah. Looking good. All right, guys, just a few tips to use vellum and uh, keep an eye out. Of course, I'll continue using it in different paper crafting uh, videos. And I'll have the links in the description box. I have some images coming up right now. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.